Hello and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to start by placing some Aqua Duck Egg by Paper Artsy with a hard rubber Ranger brayer. Uh, the nice thing about the hard rubber is it allows me to skip versus a soft rubber, which would be more of a solid background. Any of the excess here, I'm just mopping up on a piece that I will use as the background piece later and so none goes to waste and gonna give this a quick dry and now I have tossed blossom by stencil girl and I'm moving quite quickly I chose to go with Caribbean Sea for just a slight change and then here I'm going to use a Princeton number no. six paintbrush with slimed which is a semi-transparent and I'm just painting loosely the centers and as you'll see we are going to add one more step to the center so that's why I chose a semi-transparent and loosely loosely just gives it more of an organic feel so now I have organic Zen celebrate by Jamie Fingal and I'm using bubble gum which is an opaque uh, paper artsy paint and I, I I just I think the sizing of this stencil and the bit of swirl just work perfectly with the tossed blossom stencil by Terry Stigma Miller so I'm just gonna speed through that keeping the my stenciling straight up and down and then now I'm making sure none go to waste so I'm just scraping out the excess with a sponge on my scrap piece of paper because this is going to create the background or shadow piece for my happy birthday sign and we're again um, just so components are the same I'm using more of the bulk of the stencil now not just the center and now I'm going to cut this out so then that way it can go through my um, sidekick. So this is the shadow. So it'll be, and then I do black. I use black watercolor paper um, to do the actual wording which will be placed on top of the shadow piece. I think it just pulls the title in. You could go with a solid background if you didn't want to create that backing. And now I've just got a plain piece of pink that I rough the edges. Um, I like to do at least three layers when I'm matting my cards and so there's the first mat and I did do some stitching um, of the background that we created with the stencils onto the scrap piece that add some bubble gum added to it and it's really that simple um, you know it's all about just kind of the layers and getting what's pleasing to the eye and um, keeping the title somewhat simple but with that green uh, shadowing really makes it pop so yeah happy birthday Mary Beth I hope you enjoyed this video and looking forward to seeing you again soon